Hello guys, welcome to the class on uh, progestins. So in this class, you are going to learn about the progestins, what are the types of uh, progestins, as well as the various actions of the progestins. Progestin, progestin. These are the substances, basically, which converts the estrogen primed. proliferative endometrium to secretory endometrium so thereby it is responsible for maintenance of the pregnancy so what is the meaning of uh, progestin progestin means favoring pregnancy going on uh, to the natural progestins so we have natural progestin as well as the synthetic progestins so these natural progestins are the progesterone a 21 carbon steroid it is a natural progestin which is derived from cholesterol it is secreted by the corpus luteum in the later half of the menstrual cycle under the influence of the lh so its production will be decline means declines few days prior to the next menstrual cycle so what happens if the ovum gets fertilized and gets implanted the blastocyst which is formed will immediately produce chorionic gonadotropin which gets absorbed into the maternal circulation so thereby it sustains the corpus luteum during the early phase of the pregnancy so the placenta also secretes lots of estrogen and progesterone starting from the second trimester till the term and also in men adrenal as well as testes will produce small amounts of progesterone but their role is unknown so coming to the synthetic progestins synthetic progestins have got high oral activity when compared to the natural progestins they have got two derivatives one is progesterone derivatives which is made up of 21 carbon steroid which has got weak anti ovulatory action one more is the 19 nortestosterone derivative which is called as estrons which is having 18 carbon steroid they are potent anti ovulatory in action compared to the progesterone derivatives so coming to the difference between the progesterone derivatives and nor 19 nor testosterone derivatives these progesterone derivatives are made up of 21 carbon steroid whereas 19 nor testosterone derivatives are made up of 18 carbon ste steroid progesterone derivatives are the pure progestins which will produce selective progestational effects but it has got weak anti ovulatory in action basically it is used as a adjuvant to estrogen and hormone replacement therapy so basically they are used for treating post menopausal hormonal imbalance threatened abortion and endometriosis so coming to the 19 nor testosterone derivatives they are having potent anti ovulatory action thereby it can be used in combined contraceptive pills along with estrogen additionally it has got weak estrogenic weak androgenic weak anabolic effects so coming to the examples for progesterone derivatives they are medroxyprogesterone acetate magistrol acetate tridrogesterone hydroxy progesterone caproate nomegestrol acetate which is a newer compound so come to the 19 nor testosterone derivatives it has got two subclasses that is estrons and gonads so coming to estrons examples are norethindron linestrenol halyl lestrenol these estrons are potent are having potent anti ovulatory 
action so thereby it can be combined with estrogen in a as a combined oral contraceptive pills additionally it has got weak estrogenic weak androgenic and weak anabolic actions so these gonads what are gonads estrons with a 13 ethyl substitution are called as gonads so previously the levonorgestrel was the more potent gonads the recent drugs are desogestrol, norgestimate and gestrodine which are very potent progestins. Desogestrol and norgestimate they are uh, prodrugs. So basically these gonads have stronger anti ovulatory action. So remember apart from strong anti ovulatory action it has got no or little androgenic actions compared to the estrons which were having weak androgenic action whereas in gonads they have got no or little androgenic action so what are the advantages of gonads so no they have got no androgenic action thereby it retains the estrogenic beneficial action on the lipid profile and also they are preferred in patients with hyperandrogenemia and also it can be combined with estrogen as a combined oral contraceptive where it will reduce the dose of the ethinyl estradiol and also it has got stronger or high anti ovulatory coming to the nomagestrol acetate so nomagestrol acetate is a newer compound it's a newer 19 norprogesterone derivative which has got weak anti androgenic action lesser anti ovulatory action but a strong anti estrogenic effect on endometrium one more advantage of nomagestrol is they do not produce adverse effects on the lipid profile as well as the glucose tolerance. Looking to the various actions of progestins. So progestins, the main function of progesterone is preparation of the uterus for nidation and maintenance of the pregnancy. So it is mainly responsible for preventing the endometrial shedding, decreases the uterine motility and inhibits the immunological rejection of the fetus. So why all these three actions are important and uh, uh, which is the main thing which is controlling all these things? It is the progesterone. Progesterone prevents endometrial shedding decreases the uterine motility inhibits immunological rejection of fetus since progesterone will depress both T cell function as well as the cell mediated immunity to the actions of progesterone on uterus the progesterone brings about estro secretory changes in the estrogen prime endometrium so thereby it causes hyperemia the glands becomes very tortuous and there will be increased secretion so what happened in case of menstruating women due to the lack or absence of the progesterone support it will leads to the mucosal shedding thereby menstruation so in case of pregnant women due to the continuous progesterone support this progesterone will bring the decidual changes in the endometrium thereby stroma enlarges and becomes spongy and glands will be atrophied and one more important thing you should remember is the progesterone will decrease the sensitivity of myometrium to oxytocin thereby it reduces the motility or contraction of the uterus so coming to the effect of progesterone on cervix progesterone converts the watery cervical secretion into cellular secretion which is viscid and scanty in nature so watery secretion was basically due to estrogen and the viscid scanty cellular secretion is due to progesterone so thereby it 
makes hostile to sperm penetration so thereby it prevents the sperm penetration what is the effect on vagina it brings about uh, pregnancy like changes like the epi vaginal epithelium gets cornified and there will be leukocyte infiltration so with respect to the respiration this progestones will be relatively higher doses during the pregnancy can stimulate respiration so coming to the breast so what is the effect of progesterone on the breast it helps in proliferation of acinine in the mammary gland it brings about cyclic epithelial proliferation and turnover during the luteal phase and the continuous exposure to the progesterone during the pregnancy halts or stops the mitotic activity thereby brings about stabilization in the mammary cells and also in acting in concert with the estrogen it prepares the breast for lactation withdrawal of this hormone after the delivery will cause release of prolactin from pituitary and milk secretion starts coming to the effect of progesterone on cns in the pregnancy progesterone concentration will be high which uh, brings about sedative effect and also affects the mood coming to the effect on body temperature there will be slight rise in the body temperature by resetting the hypothalamus thermostat set point and there will be increased heat production so this is responsible for the heat production as well as increase in the body temperature during the luteal phase coming to the effect of progesterone on metabolism prolonged use of oral contraceptive impairs the glucose tolerance in some of the women and may this has been mainly related to progesterone component those progesterones with androgenic activity example 19 nor testosterone derivatives will raise the ldl cholesterol level and lowers the hdl cholesterol level which is not a beneficial effect this is opposite to that of the beneficial effect which is produced by estrogen so estrogen basically reduces the ldl cholesterol and raises the hdl cholesterol so these progesterone will cause loss of beneficial effect of estrogen on the lipid profile so coming up with the micronized oral progesterone formulation will not affect the beneficial effect of the estrogen on lipid profile coming to the effect of progesterone on pituitary this progesterone being a weak inhibitor of gonadotropin secretion from pituitary it exerts a negative feedback at hypothalamic pulse generator thereby reducing the frequency of reducing the frequency of gnrh pulses so once you reduce the gnrh pulses there will be reduce gonadotropin secretion however the amount of lh which is secreted at each pulse may increase so whenever you administer a progestin during a follicular phase these progestins will suppress the pre ovulatory lh surge and prevents ovulation progestins you know that it has got anti ovulatory action which is which synergizes with the estrogen anti ovulatory action so gonads you know that it has got markedly gnrh suppression so thereby they are made used as a potent anti ovulatory drugs 
will be on progestins mechanism of action and pharmacokinetics of progestins